Hey everyone, welcome to another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Catch us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. Definitely appreciate you. So today I want to talk about two tools that I use to do site audits that uh, tell me exactly like how technically sound a site is and their performance levels. The two things that I use are GT Metrics, and that's G-T-M-E-T-R-I-X.com, and Page Insights by Google. So GT Metrics, what it does is it gives me a good page speed score, and then it also lets me know what needs to be tended to, whether or not the site's technically, developed technically sound, and it makes suggestions based on you know its findings as to what needs to be taken care of, how to take care of it, is it images, is it CSS, is it browser caching, is it uh, jQuery, you know, it'll give you tons and tons of information. We use this because it's an independent tool <clears throat> that if a client wanted to dispute what we were saying, they can go and run the same exact test and get the same results. The second one that we like is Page Insights by Google. We really use this one to tell us how fast the site is and how fast and how Google is indexing this site, whether you know the page speed when it comes to desktop versus mobile. And we let that to guide a lot of our development to make sure that we're doing everything in the best interest of the client and to make sure that everything, again, goes back to being technically sound so that when we hand a site over to the client, we at least know from, you know, we have clean conscious where we're just like, okay, everything is perfectly technically sound right now. What you do with it, you know, is on your own. We'll make it, we'll make different suggestions and advise people how to keep it that way. But then we'll always refer back to saying, use these two tools to make sure that things are still working well. Hey, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of the New Market Show. You can get more episodes at trinitywebmedia.com slash apple-podcasts.